Dubai Princess Haya bint Al Hussein versus Saudi Arabia's Princess Amira Al Tawil. No one can deny the fact that everyone wants to be rich in this world, and why not? Being rich comes with many benefits, and the best benefit is that you can have whatever you want. Most people become rich through their hard work and passion, but some people got very lucky and are born into a royal family and have been gifted immense wealth and fortune. Two princesses in the world belong to the richest families and are quite famous among the masses. So who are they? Well, let's try to find out. Hello everyone and welcome back to Money Tree. Today, we are talking about Dubai Princess Haya bint Al Hussein and Saudi Arabia's Princess Amira El Tawil. Are you ready to know all about it? Well, without delaying any further, let's get started. And before that, please make sure you hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any new updates from our channel. Dubai Princess Haya bint Al Hussein and Saudi Arabia's Princess Amira Al Tawil both are ex-royals and are famous in the world for their beauty, work, and controversies. So, it'll not be easy to compare them, but let's start. The first princess we'll be talking about is the Princess of Dubai, Haya bint Al Hussein. A wife of Dubai's ruling Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum has fled to London and is reportedly in fear for her life after uncovering disturbing facts about the disappearance of their stepdaughter last year. Princess Haya bint Al Hussein is the sixth wife of Dubai's leader, whom she married in 2004 to become his junior wife. She is the daughter of the former King of Jordan and half-sister to King Abdullah. Princess Haya was educated within the UK from a young age, boarding at an all-girls badminton school at 11 years old in Dorset. She moved to the celebrated Bryanston Private School and per Emirates Women, she completed five A-levels before moving on to Oxford University to read PPE. Sources near the princess said she had been preparing to escape for months with an escape fund of 31 million pounds to start a brand new life. In line with the days, Princess Haya reportedly bought the house she is speculated to be hiding in via another company connected along with her for £85 million in 2017. The home could be a Grade 2 listed building in Kensington Palace Gardens, and previously, the days reported that a planning application had been submitted to alter decorative balls on their gate piers with sculpted stone falcons, as falcons are a major Jordanian symbol. She also rides horses professionally and has competed on the global stage as a show jumper. In 1992, she won bronze at the Pan Arab Games and qualified for the Olympics in 2000. Before her disappearance, many of her photos and videos on her Instagram were of the horses in her life, and one day to January 16th was a brief clip of Princess Haya at practice. She is additionally known to be friendly with Queen Elizabeth and was frequently seen together with her husband at Royal Ascot, as Sheikh Mohammed owns a prominent racing stable called Go Dolphin. When Princess Haya wasn't seen at Ascot this year, some began speculating on her whereabouts. And when it comes to controversies, the princess has quite a lot. Sources near Princess Haya have told British media she was prompted to go away from Dubai, having discovered disturbing facts about the disappearance of Princess Latifa, age 33, all one and all Sheikh Mohammed's daughters who fled from Dubai last year, only to be returned months later. In that mysterious and controversial case, the young Princess Latifa reportedly fled the country after enlisting the assistance of a former French spy, Hervé Jalbert. She released a video that she claimed could be the last video I make. She was later tracked all the way down to a ship off the coast of India and returned to Dubai. Authorities claim she was happy and safe after being returned, however. Mr. Jolbert has alleged they were tracked down by special forces and they were returned against her will. Sources near Princess Haya told a news channel she feared for her life and is worried she may well be rendered to Dubai from London. Sheikh Mohammed reportedly posted a poem on Instagram which accused an unidentified woman of treachery and betrayal. He has not commented publicly on the matter. Dubai authorities have also remained tight-lipped, claiming the difficulty is one for personal individuals. There are fears it could lead to a diplomatic stoush and attract British royalty as both Princess Haya and also the Sheikh are near the Queen, given their shared love of racing. Now let's talk about the other princess in today's video. Before we do real quick, I would like you to please subscribe to our channel if you've not already done so. Saudi Arabia's Princess Amira El Tawil made headlines earlier this month when she married billionaire Khalifa bin Boudi Al Muheri. The private ceremony, which was held in Paris, had an exclusive guest list that included, among others, Oprah Winfrey and Gail King, the Daily Mail reported on Monday. Al Tawil was previously married to Prince Al Alid bin Talal, a member of Saudi Arabia's house and one of the richest men in the world, per Forbes' estimate of his net worth.
According to Glamour, Al Tawil met Prince Alawid bin Talel when she was interviewing him for a college paper at age 18. The two then tied the knot nine months later in 2008, at which point Al Tawil became the royal's fourth wife. A successful investor owns stakes in numerous U.S. companies, including Lyft, Twitter, and Citigroup. The prince has been called the Warren Buffett of the Middle East. During her interview with the Wall Street Journal, Al Tawil said that she was born a middle-class girl. She was raised by her divorced mother in Riyadh. Speaking to Glamour in 2014, Al Tawil, then age 29, said the divorce was amicable. She also said she wants to be a role model for young women. Al Tawil says that she wants to be the one women look to after they tell their daughters, look, she got a divorce, and see what she's doing now? She's an independent woman. She's doing something good for her country. Prince Al-Walid bin Talal al Saud appointed his then-wife Amira as vice chairperson and head of the executive committee of the Al-Walid bin Talal Foundation in Saudi Arabia, now known under the name Al-Walid Philanthropies, and chairperson of Time Entertainment, where she was involved in a range of humanitarian projects in both Saudi Arabia and around the world. The foundation is an international nonprofit organization dedicated to supporting programs and projects aimed at poverty alleviation, disaster relief, interfaith dialogue, and women's empowerment. As the past chairperson of Kingdom Holding Company, she traveled extensively on behalf of the Al Walid Ben Talal Foundations. She has visited more than 71 countries. Al Tawil inaugurated the Al Walid Bin Talal Village Orphanage in Burkina Faso and traveled to Pakistan to provide aid and relief to the country's flood victims and to support education. Together with Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, Amira also formally opened the Prince Al Walid Bin Talal Center of Islamic Studies at the University of Cambridge, where she accepted from Prince Philip an 800th anniversary medal for outstanding philanthropy. Most recently, she has spearheaded a relief mission to Somalia, where she and her ex-husband, Prince Al-Walid bin Talal, oversaw the distribution of foundation-sponsored aid. Her work was recognized in 2011 when she received the Humanitarian Award for her efforts at the foundation. She was also fourth on the CEO Middle East list of the world's 100 most powerful Arab women in 2012 and won the Woman Personality of the Year Award from the Middle East Excellence Awards Institute. However, she and her former husband remain close friends to this day, and they have both spoken positively to the press about their respectful, mentor-like relationship. And that's going to do it for today's video, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and family. If you have any questions or comments, please share them with us in the comment space below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see each and every one of our videos we have uploaded for you. And you can check out some of these other specially selected ones for you as well. One more note, friends, don't forget to press that bell icon on your way out the door. That way you're always notified of our latest uploads. Hey, thanks again for watching today's video, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.